Hello, I am super excited about eating my first meal back in England. I'm extremely jet lagged. We have been up all night long flying from Texas to London and then making our way here to Cheltenham. And now we're gonna have our first meal of the whole summer here back in Britain. And we're having a very special meal. It is an Indian afternoon tea. It's at a place here in Cheltenham called Mem Sahib. I'm going to bring you with us and show you what an Indian afternoon tea is because I'm not entirely sure. I've never had it before. We have eaten some scrumptious afternoon teas in our visits to Britain, and I'll link to some fun videos in the description if you're interested. But this is a whole new experience. Mem Sahib's Lounge is not a run-of-the-mill Indian restaurant nor an Indian street food kiosk. This is an upscale Indian food experience served in a beautifully decorated lounge environment. Cheltenham has some amazing restaurants and we've been wanting to try this one for a couple years. We love Indian food and we love afternoon tea, so we were excited to check it out. We are here with our friends Emma and Terry Hi. Hi guys. They were nice enough to pick us up at the bus stop. The first two things we were served were not listed on the menu. The first was this welcome drink, a lovely warming and refreshing hot drink. It's orange, cinnamon, golden syrup, and lime juice. And our Welsh friends thought it tasted like Christmas. The next surprise was this amuse-bouche. I didn't catch the whole description, but they were little papadum with warm veggie stir fry stuff on top with perfect garnishes. That was really tasty, but then the spice hit me. Ooh. Yeah, hit you afterwards. <laughs> it's got a little <laughs> afterburn. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we were starting to feel a bit loopy from sleep deprivation and jet lag whilst sitting on the cozy, luxurious love seat, we were hungry and ready for the next course. Time to get the party started. This is the vegetable momo. It's like a little egg roll type thing with cabbage and roasted sesame. Now for the palate cleanser, a turmeric matcha and green mango sorbet with something very magenta on top. Maybe raspberry? I love how the main courses of the meal were served on a tower for each person, just like a traditional afternoon tea. We had both a regular tea and a vegetarian option because I always am interested in discovering what the vegetarian dishes are. The vegetarian version had veggie samosas with tamarind, a chaat borta with black chickpeas, Bombay mix, and gooseberry pickle, and it looks like some pomegranate arils. Then the bottom level was a tofu dish and a veg chorizo. The meat version has a chicken samosa, the same black chickpea dish, and on the bottom, salmon on the left, and a chicken tikka kebab on the right. The top tier for both towers is a delicious flatbread called paratha, and a really unusual and scrumptious cheesecake with poached apricots on the bottom and crushed biscuits on the top. Kind of an upside down cheesecake. The hot drink we were given to enjoy with our cheesecake was an unusual herbal tea called Flower of Asia. It was wonderful with honey. We were given that because we weren't regular chai tea drinkers. We just finished our Indian afternoon tea and I'm going to have Terry and Emma share their opinions of it because they are much less jet lagged and delirious than we are. Actually the flavors, it was so full of flavor. Um, they did a lovely little uh, palate cleanser after the first course, which was very interesting, but also the flavors that came out it was a little bit spicy, mm. but you just want to eat. I always worry with afternoon tea that it's never going to be filling enough. And I was really impressed with the portion size. I am stuffed. I've had enough to eat. Thank you very much. <laughs> very happy customer. And I loved the drinks. They were just all delicious flavors. Really interesting, not your average herbal tea. And things I never would have tried, you know. Right. I feel like I've really... Um, explored my palate today yes yeah, now, what did it. you think of the salmon i didn't have the salmon because mine was veggie and i had a tofu one what was how was the salmon delicious it was excellent it really was and it, it was spicy. high quality food yeah everything we ate was high quality food mm -hmm. so and that made a big difference even if the flavor wasn't quite to your liking or how you would have cooked it 
it was still really good food that you just wanted to finish. It was a little bit too spicy for me, but I really liked the cheesecake at the end and that helped uh, calm down <laughs> my burning mouth. So, and it was cheese, you know, so you gotta love that. I think four thumbs up for us. We, we liked the Indian afternoon tea. So I hope you enjoyed our little visit to Mem Sahib this afternoon. And please check out these other videos of other yummy things we've eaten. <laughs> I'm so delirious. I forgot to say, and do something good in the world today. <laughs>